All right, lesson 63-2, we're going to take a look at the DI. So number one, this is 3x cubed minus 13x squared plus 43x minus 13. Now I know because of the fundamental theorem of algebra, because my degree is 3, that means I'm going to have three zeros. And they could either be imaginary or real. So I still have to do my p's over q's. So 1 and 13 over 1 and 3. So I get plus or minus 1, plus or minus 13, plus or minus 1 over 3, and plus or minus 13 over 3. So now let's go through and test them. So let's try positive 1. Bring down the 3, multiply, add, multiply, add. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's try negative 1. Bring down the 3, multiply, add, multiply. Okay, that's not going to work either. Let's try 1 third. Three negative thirteen forty three and negative thirteen. Bring down three, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. So that worked. So I know that my zero is going to be x minus one third. And I'm going to be left with 3x squared minus 12x plus 39. I can factor out a 3 from all these 3 terms. So I get 3x minus 1 times x squared minus 4x plus 13. Now I want to use the quadratic formula for that. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times C all over 2 times A. So if we simplify that, that is 16 minus 16 minus 52. So I get 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 36 all over 2. So that's 4 plus or minus 6i, which is 2 plus or minus 3i. So the question is saying find all the zeros, then factor completely over the real numbers and completely factor it over the complex numbers. So let's so the first part says factor completely find all the zeros so my zeros are going to be one-third Two plus three i and two minus three i. Then factoring it completely over real numbers, so factor over the real. That's going to be three x minus one times x squared minus four x plus thirteen, because there's no imaginary numbers there. And then factor over the complex, so that would be three x minus one times x minus 2 plus 3i and then x minus 2 minus 3i. So 
It says using given complex numbers z and w to simplify the following. So once again, just reminding you, z bar, that's the conjugate. And whenever, let's say if I have w over z for number 7, w over z, you have to multiply by the conjugate to get the i's out of the denominator. And then you'd have to distribute, distribute, and be able to simplify that. Square root of negative 25 times negative 4. So we have to multiply those together. You get the square root of 100, which is 10. Number 12, i to the 97 power. We have to divide the 97 by 4. So your remainder is 1. And so that means that you're left with i to the first power, which is just i.